just in case you get leached. Oh, what a view. G'day, I'm Will. And here we are. <laughs> and this is Loose. Beautiful. And together, we are travelling around Australia in our 1987 Toyota Hiace named Joey. Woo! Woo! Incredible. Very nice, hey. There we go at that. Follow along to see these roads we ride. Here we go, slow, steep climb. I've um locked up the fan so he's handling it so much better than last Wallaman. time we did at Wallaman Falls. Yeah and at the end of the day I don't think that anything can be worse than Wallaman Falls especially with not a fully functioning fan and it was also just so long. <laughs> oh my god look at this. What speed are we doing currently? Uh, 22. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the camera doesn't even do it justice of how steep it is. It looks like we're filming in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> Little waterfall. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a nice view. Gorgeous. It's so cool right there. Holy. Such a cold breeze at the moment coming through. I think we're going to have like such a nice sleep tonight. Made it. Well done, Joe. He did so well. Oh, I'm impressed. His teeth stayed cool the whole time. Happily just cruised up it. So it was a fun and wild drive up, but it was totally worth it. This camp is gorgeous. Um, it's nice and cool for a change. So I think we're actually going to get a crack and sleep tonight. It just smells so fresh and like just mountainy. The water smells so good. It is so, such a beautiful camp. Um, there are platypus just in this creek behind me here as well. Uh, but we'll show you them in the morning when there's a bit more light to get some photos. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight? Rice paper rolls. You beauty. Rolls. We've got peanut satay sauce on the boil. <laughs> Oh, this is such a tranquil, beautiful spot. Such a change from the last couple of camps. It's so cool. Like, we even had hot coffee this morning because it's it's just so nice and cool. There's a gentle breeze. It smells so good here. We, um, we're even going to fly back into town for some service and book another night, I think, because oh, we had such a good sleep last night. It was just so peaceful. And um, we're just spending the morning spotting some platypus now, so... We've seen a few. So yeah, seen a few. Coming out and saying hello. We um we saw a few at Yungaburra in a earlier episode, but this place is just unreal. When we got here yesterday afternoon, we easily saw like half a dozen straight away. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely a platypus hotspot. If you haven't seen one before, this is the place to come. Oh, 
Oh, what a view. It really shows off how high uh, up we had to come to get to this national park. Hey, mate. I could be wrong, but I think that's a brolga. Isn't he just gorgeous? He's so cool. So it is a brolga? It is a brolga, yeah. So we're just about to start the Yungala National Park uh, walking track. We're going to start with the sky window circuit here, which is just a quick little dart off. And then we're going to tackle the track that goes all the way to town and back. But a quick word of warning before you do this walk is there is meant to be a lot of leeches and a lot of mosquitoes on this track. So we've absolutely doused ourselves in bug spray, <laughs> but we'll see how we go. I don't know if it works for leeches, but we'll find out soon enough. And we have our boots on. Yeah, we're not doing it in thongs. Let's go. It's such a dense part of rainforest, this walk. Like you're weaving around bushes and things, trying not to touch them, just in case you get leached. But yeah, it's so, so dark, shady and cool in here. Really, really nice uh, walk to do, even though it's stinking hot in the sun. And that is the tree arch. The tree arch. It's easily the coolest feature on this walk. I know, look how cool that is. It's amazing that that's like still able to grow and survive with a big hole through the middle. Amazing. It's and cool it goes how the track right goes through, through, through it. Yeah, I was just about to say, <laughs> right through the track. That's so cool. The way that Will does not want to touch any piece of shrubbery just I in case. I have leech today. In case there's a leech on it. <laughs> Will doesn't want to touch anything. Now this part of the walk isn't anywhere near as pleasant there's about a thousand bats in every single one of these trees above us. <laughs> it just smells like bat shit everywhere. <laughs> it's a lot less maintained, this part of the track too. But this is where it pokes out. Right back at town again. So yeah, this little section here is just filled with bats. Quick little halfway leech check as well. I think we're good. And just so you don't get lost like we did, we walked all the way up the road here and you find, yeah, past the school and then you find this track and that gets you back on the circuit. Oh, what a cracking little 6k walk that was. None of us got leeches stuck to us. We did pull a few off our shoes and things, so they are definitely there. But now to double check, we're gonna have a quick shower. The Angala has like these um, community showers at the community hub here. Two dollars for three minutes, so we'll go have a shower and uh, then head off to camp. How good is tonight's camp? We've got the van set up right at a seat. We're gonna play a card game, so that's why we've set the table up, but Whilst we're playing a game of cards, we can watch the platypus in the creek just there. We were literally parked just there last night. We thought we'd uh, get front row seats. Well, what 
an awesome couple of days that was. Oh, it's been so good. This camp here at Yungala is one of our favourite camps that we've had in a while. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's, it's just, it's been so peaceful. There's platypus. It's nice and cool. Highly, highly recommend coming up to Yungala. It's so worth the drive up the steep windy road. And just be careful if you're in a caravan, that hill especially would be really hard to get up with a heavy caravan, but also these sites here are a little tricky for caravans, especially really big ones. Um, it's really good for little vans, rooftop tents, tents, Swags. anything small. Yeah, it'd be a perfect little spot. But it's also pretty low cost as well. I mean, national parks, $7.25 per person, so $14.50 for both of us to be here for the night. Isn't too bad considering there's toilets. No showers, but there are showers in town. Yeah, and the showers in town were really good as well. So um, definitely check this place out. So we're gonna continue our trip heading south down the Queensland coast, down towards Rockhampton. So yeah, we'll catch you next episode as we go and find some more camps heading down south. And if you've made it this far into the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out to put out these videos every week and follow our social media as well. Oh my God, this is stressful. <laughs>